Hello everyone, let's continue and uh, now let's handle actions that uh, we are selecting in our actions list. First, let's open a widget for an action button. Here it is. Let's select a button and click and make it a variable. BTN, let's call it BTN button. Make it a variable and we now we see events here and let's handle on clicked event on this button like this okay <clears throat> now let's add an event dispatcher and call it on action selected it will have an input parameter of action of type e container item action And we're gonna call it here and connect action. Now let's open actions list and here after creating a widget for an action, let's bind let's create a binding bind event on action selected and again we need an event dispatcher here on action selected with an input action of type container item action And let's create custom event here on action and let's call this dispatcher here. Finally, let's open an inventory widget, open show actions for widget and here in place where we are creating an actions list, we're gonna create a binding. So let's get it and bind event on action selected. And uh, let's create event, create a matching function. Let's call it on action selected. So now we know which action we have selected, but we don't know um, what is an item that we have selected for showing in actions? So uh, let's open uh, refresh function. And uh, right on right mouse button, show actions for widget. Show actions for widget has an item as an input. And let's get it here and uh, promote it to a variable and call it actions item. Okay, now on action selected, we need to get inventory system and call some function, but we don't have any functions yes, yet. So let's open our component and add needed functions. So our first function will be called handle container item action. Let's move it into category um, container actions. And it will have an input action container item action and item by itself of type BC container item well now what we have to do we have to switch an action and let's add the print 
and print text format text and type here action is not implemented we are creating this print because now we will implement only um, equip it drink throw away on the throw away action and other actions will be empty but we will print this on tapping on each button so that in future we will know that some of the actions are not implemented and also well maybe there is a switch with default parameter it looks like not action is not implemented action Oh, okay, no, we will not print anything. So let's, let's implement throw away action for an item. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna call drop item from inventory and plug item. Well, that's it for throw away item, but that will work only uh, for single player game. So for uh, replicated games, let's make this function private. And uh, let's open an event graph, create custom event, um, handle action for item. action and item are needed as an input duplicate this event and call it server handle action for item this is going to run only on a server so here we're going to call server handle action for item now on the server we have to validate whether we really have this item in inventory because on the client side item can still appear but on the server side it has already been deleted like for example client already removed an item but server still didn't handle it and client use an action for this item so client side will think that an item is still existing on the client side but on the server side it's not it doesn't exist and to prevent uh, for example fast usage of one item like right click on apple eat right click on apple eat until server handles it we are we, we have to call this on server and we have to implement <coughs> logic here so let's switch on action or even not we don't need to implement it here mm. So we have to validate if item exists in inventory. So we have a function called find item. We have to find this item on the server. If item was found, only then we can call our function called handle container item action. But we should call it on every client. that's not the best solution to call this function on every client um, I think that better solution would be if these functions were called on the client but we're gonna do it like this now so let's duplicate this event and call it multicast handle action for item and we're gonna call this function here So if true, then we're going to call multicast handle action for item and plug in item and action. Also select multicast, make it multicast, make it private and make server event also private. Save event compile. Well, let's check how it works. Drop item from inventory. 
So right click on it, throw away. Right click, throw away. Oh, we have created a function, but we never called it from our widget. So let's open our widget for whole inventory. Open function on action selected. And from inventory system, call it handle action for item action and item is going to be action actions item um okay it is thrown away but it's not removed from an inventory. So we have our drop item from inventory just drops it, but doesn't remove it from an inventory by itself. So we also have to call remove item and get item. Well, we also need to know a cell. So let's make it an input parameter for this function from cell. And open event graph. Here and after and our find item returns us a cell. So let's do it like this. So add an input to multicast event from cell and plug in this cell here. So in uh, here is how it looks like. So in uh, non-replicated project you just have to call this find item here like this and so on well now it will work throw away but this widget doesn't disappear let's fix it let's open our widget for an inventory and on actions action selected, we also gonna get actions widget, remove it from parent, and set it to none. Also, we're gonna set actions item to none. So this is how it works, and uh, well, I mentioned one thing that let me do it like this. Let me pick a few apples and fill all horizontal slots. So now cabbage cannot be collected because it tries to store it in horizontal alignment but we have a place for a cabbage if, we would, if it would be rotated. So we have to double check it and let's open our inventory, our tracing, and we are calling can add item to inventory. And we're checking it here in our trace interactable objects. So if it is false, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get item and call rotate. So if false, we're going to call rotate and check it again. Check it again and uh, if rotated object can be added to an inventory then we are calling the same. So we need cell, we need item, we need index, and we're destroying uh, an actor next. This actor. Mm.
Well, if false, then we just have to rotate an item back to its normal rotation. If we can't store both rotated and not rotated, then we're just rotating it back to its previous state. So let's try now. So I expect that cabbage will be added here. And yes, it is added now in rotated state. So that's it. And I think uh, that's it for this video. We'll continue in next part. Thanks for watching.